Hello, you're watching PC Jack. Today, we're taking a look at Sony's latest PC port. This time, we've got the Uncharted Legacy of Thieves collection, which includes both Uncharted 4, A Thief's End, and Uncharted Lost Legacy. Given Sony's current track record with their PC game releases, I was curious to see if they could keep up the streak. The Uncharted franchise is pretty dear to me given it was one of the most memorable games of the PlayStation 3 era, and it's a shame that it's been so locked down to that ecosystem for such a long time. Maybe one day we'll get the original trilogy, but for now though, I'll settle for what is arguably one of the most impressive PS4 titles in terms of visual fidelity. So of course, it's no surprise given the raw horsepower of a gaming PC that this is going to be the perfect way to experience Uncharted, whether it's your first time playing or even if you're a veteran of the series. In this video, I'll be sharing all my findings from my multiple hours playing and testing the game and how well the game performs with my test system. FYI, all this footage has been captured on my RTX 3080 and Ryzen 5 5600X system and there are no spoilers in the gameplay footage, so not to worry. Before we begin, let's take a look at the minimum and recommended specs that Naughty Dog has shared for the game. In terms of specs, Naughty Dog are fairly modest with their recommendations and even on the higher end with recommending either an Intel i7-4770 or a Ryzen 5 1500X paired with either a GTX 1060 or an RX 570, this means that most systems should have little problems running the game at reasonable settings. Now, how does that fare when it comes to my system? Well, extremely well. Given the level of graphics quality this game offers, on my RTX 3080, Uncharted has pretty much no problem staying above 60fps, even at native resolution without either DLSS or FSR enabled. We will, however, take a much closer look at these settings later in the video. It does seem, however, that Naughty Dog has done an impressive job of porting a PS4 exclusive over to the PC, with very little trouble which you couldn't say of Horizon Zero Dawn when it arrived on PC two years ago. I've spent around 7 hours playing and testing the game and I can't recall any moments where frames drop below 60 and performance consistently remained at a reasonable level as you'll see from the gameplay I've captured for this video. As a side note, all of the footage you'll see today is with the resolution set to 4K and the graphics set to max with DLSS quality enabled. And as you can see, the game runs excellent and looks gorgeous. However, how does the game fare on lower end hardware? Well, changing from our desktop capture, let's take a look at how Uncharted runs on the Steam Deck. Of course, it's worth noting that this capture of the Steam Deck won't look as good for you guys blown up on a big screen, but rest assured that the quality is miles better on a smaller screen like on the Steam Deck. Upon first booting Uncharted on the Steam Deck, the game defaults to medium settings across the board, which on a 1280x800p display still provides a reasonable level of visual quality. Without capping our FPS or enabling FSR, the game tends to fluctuate between 60 to 40 FPS with occasional dips into the low 30s, which is pretty impressive given the limitations of a handheld device such as the Steam Deck. My best recommendation for the most optimal experience on the Steam Deck is keeping our graphics settings at medium, enabling FSR quality and ensuring motion blur is enabled to a level that is most comfortable for yourself, and finally capping your refresh rate at 40Hz. These settings combined offer a really smooth gameplay experience that feels just as good to play as it is on desktop, but in a much tinier package. I certainly have no complaints being able to play such an awesome game on the go though. But of course, one of the most useful features, especially for the Steam Deck, has been the use of FSR, which in this game scales extremely well. DLSS on the other hand on desktop with an NVIDIA RTX GPU offers exceptional uplifts over native resolutions and still offers a crisp image. Of course, your mileage may vary depending on your hardware, but on most settings with the exception of ultra performance DLSS or FSR, I'm hard pressed to tell the difference. For today's video, I've tested every option from quality all the way through to ultra performance on both DLSS and FSR in order for you to gauge the performance on your own system. So taking a look at our baseline at native with no upscalers enabled, Uncharted averages around 70 FPS with 1% lows of 59 and 0.1% lows of 53, which in itself is a pretty smooth experience all in all. However, simply enabling DLSS quality or even FSR quality already nets us a performance increase of around 44% and 37% respectively, which is really impressive, especially given that these options will offer the least amount of visual degradation as we're only upscaling from 2560x1440p and still retaining those crisp visuals. Switching to DLSS balanced or FSR balanced nets us an improvement over native of up to 61% while again still retaining an ideal balance of visual fidelity and improve performance even over quality. Switching to DLSS performance or FSR performance grants an uplift of up to 74%. However, at these settings, I feel that visuals are now starting to suffer, not too excessively, but still beginning to become noticeable. However, despite DLSS or FSR Ultra Performance offering up to a staggering 105% performance increase over native, visuals are noticeably worse, and unless you're running at an already lower resolution or on lower end hardware, I'd aim not to use these settings for the most optimal experience. All in all, both DLSS and FSR offer exceptional uplifts over native and mostly retain visuals somewhat depending on how far you go. Admittedly, if on offer, I tend to make use of DLSS quality in most games, 
and Uncharted is no exception. However, this is of course limited to NVIDIA RTX GPUs, but even if FSR was my only option on AMD hardware, I'd be totally fine making use of it as it still offers great uplifts over native, and as previously mentioned, is extremely useful when running this game on the Steam Deck. Now, despite all this, my experience hasn't been completely rock solid, as sadly I've experienced some strange bugs when it comes to strange multicolored reflections, or maybe lighting, which you can see on certain objects or especially in characters' facial hair. At times, I can overlook this issue, but during this sequence, I have no idea what happened as the game went crazy with this artifacting. Please note before I show you this next clip that there's an epilepsy warning in place, so you've been warned. Yep, this is it. This section was really disappointing, but thankfully, this is the only time it happened, and hopefully this issue could be isolated to my own setup. Besides this though, the rest of my experience has been absolutely brilliant in the game, and I've had zero complaints. Overall, despite some minor issues as previously mentioned, Toy Dog has done a great job of transitioning this game over to PC and giving it a new lease of life. I've been really impressed with the game's level of performance, but more interestingly, this gives me some strong hope for the eventual release of The Last of Us Part 1, another Naughty Dog title that we hope to see on PC very soon. If Uncharted runs this well on PC, then hopefully this signifies a successful release for The Last of Us as well. So that's it for today's video. Have you jumped into Uncharted yet? Let us know down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, then please feel free to like and subscribe for more videos on the way soon. If you'd like to talk more myself and other like-minded hardware enthusiasts, then make sure to check out the PC Jack Discord server. If you'd like to support the channel even further though, then make sure to check out the PC Jack Patreon where you can claim exclusive benefits while helping to fund everything I do on the channel for you guys. You'll find links to all those in the video description. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. What? Is that it? You asked for it.